Oh, wow. Wow. Right. Oh, wow. Damn. So the last post I post about WAC 100, yeah. Basically, yeah, letting us know that BG Toad, yeah, and he has to work. Yeah, I get a lot of comments on that. And shouts out to all my new subscribers. You know what I'm saying? The real ones that we can chop it up respectful in the comments like we've been doing. Yeah, we can agree to disagree. You know, that don't mean you goofy, I'm goofy, because we don't agree on the same thing. You know, I do my best in how I was raised to break things down. I have actually been to the chain gang and things of that nature. Ain't been in the streets, but I'm a civilian just like y'all now. You know, and all my real ones who ain't a civilian. Um, yeah, shouts out to you too. If you're still out there in the field, just be careful. Just be careful and stand on all ten. But um, on this one, yeah, uh, Wack 100 basically saying, look, y'all looking at BG paperwork. This is a situation that um, happened in Houston, and BG must have told him some information and was willing to testify on this case, and um, he was suppressing it due to the fact he was promising Buddy while he was locked up. This is all electric from whack, and I can understand what he's saying, though. I will say I understand. I'm not saying I'm rolling with him 100%, but I understand. And BG got out and basically was saying, you know, what he going to do when he get cash money and breaking bread and looking out for the man family that he keep this suppressed because it's in his paperwork. Right. And BG basically did that interview. So WAC 100 says basically denouncing or not owning up the cash money. And this is what he promised buddy who allegedly told on that he was going to get with cash money and break this amount of bread. Um, but now it's stalling because he didn't get with cash money. Now he won't go to the independent route and all that. And I guess he wasn't really shooting but to the ends. Yeah. Who paperwork he was in. And um, yeah. He shot the paperwork out. I believe I heard it from uh Gangster first, Tamara Gangster Williams. Yeah. And um he definitely welcomes y'all to go on Pacia.com. I'm not into it like that. But I know Pacia.com is a real official site. And if he's telling you to go there and tell you the man's name, I, I believe it's there. I believe it's there, but it's not in BG paperwork. But they know BG name, they call his name out, and it's basically saying he's willing to testify. And the only way you could be willing to testify is if you already said some things. Yeah, and they give you that cut or that lookout. You know what I mean? And if he takes it to trial, you have to come. But in your federal paperwork, it shows you all that. I think y'all missing that point. Y'all looking at the 14 years she's done, but like Wax saying, like, I have been in the system. Like, if they offering you 30 years, yeah, they're going to give you that. Yeah, if you didn't tell. But if you told, it might break you down to 14 years where you only do 12. So y'all can't look at the years he did. And I'm not bashing BG or nothing like that. Y'all can't look at the years a person did and say, oh, he's official. He did 10 years or 14 years. They ain't how to go. They how to go on civilian land that people don't really know, like, how it's going. But in real reality, people who have been in the system, they have tried to give people 20 years. They talk. They might drop him down to 10. And he's still in the compound, moving how he move, you know, on one that don't care about it. Because just because it might have been on the compound on me, like some compounds, if you go to like certain camps or, you know, if you're not in the penitentiary and the, like the medium, they don't really check paperwork or if they do with so many other rats in there that they accept it. So don't look at it like that. I'm just giving y'all my insight, you know, my insight, y'all call it opinion. But I know like certain things, I know we don't like whack because he bring a lot of shit up, but he definitely speaking some facts inside of this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. So, like I was telling y'all, BG must have didn't come correct with the dude who paperwork his name in. And Buddy, Sonny, I guess the Terrence Williams. I don't know how y'all saying uh, Wack got this information from him. But um, maybe Wack did look at this video and like who he get it from and reach out to Buddy. Or Buddy might have reached out to Wack too, knowing he's the one who like exposed stuff. Yeah. And um, basically came with it, you know? And, um, yeah, I think he actually reached out to 1090 Jake, too. You know, 1090 Jake let him bring the paperwork out, even though Wack considered him her, a rat. But I seen on the Instagram post that he actually was trying to, uh, yeah, 
get him, you know, to bring up certain things on the BG case as well. I don't know if he uh did it or not, but I believe they're talking about that in this one too. If not, I, it might be on the next one I got to post, y'all. So don't hold me to it. But, um, yeah. So WAC 100 basically feels like, yeah, BG told, you know, if you're willing to cooperate, that means you already gave information. Anybody been in the chain game know that. You know, I mean, testify. Testify. You already cooperate. You already told them some things. They already took notes. Yeah. And if the man don't take his time, which he probably did, that's why it's not like in the paperwork, everything he said, because he never really had to say nothing else that was recorded in court. He already gave him a rough draft already. So when, once a uh, buddy would have said go to trial, he had to worry about BG coming to court. And if BG didn't come to the court when he got subpoenaed, BG will be held under perjury or be, yeah, look for because he bucked the system or whatever they gave him might be took back. So that's where we at with it, you guys. Let me know in the comments how y'all feel about the situation, though. I enjoy talking to y'all. I enjoy talking to y'all, you know. And for those who, uh, why are you talking so much? Listen, this is my channel. I give my opinion and give y'all something to think on and welcome y'all to come in the comments respectfully because we all know I curse a bitch out. Yeah, that way. I've been doing good lately, though. It is Christmas. Even though I don't celebrate it, it is Christmas. So be respectful so I ain't got to, yeah, tis the season to curse a bitch out. Yeah, that way. That way. But at the end of the day, we all, you know, know this entertainment, right? Like I tell y'all, ain't none of this going to put no money in our pocket. We're just talking and debating, passing time till it's time to go to work uh, tomorrow for some people and whenever you go to work or if you work for yourself or if you are in the streets. Just something that's entertaining. That's all. Make sure y'all get your ass off your ass every day and grind. Because this ain't going to get y'all no money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All we can do is talk about it, you know, maybe, uh, you know, the toy our minds with some serious things we got going on in our life and come to grips. Like, everybody, everybody, you know what I'm saying? Remember, the, uh, you know, every now and then, I ain't going to say every day, look yourself in the mirror and tell yourself you love you, man. And put something towards your dreams and goals every day because you are somebody. And uh, use your mind to think, too. But the mind is definitely a terrible thing to waste. But I'm about to drop what I told y'all, as promised. Right? Talking about it once again. BG. But I'm going now hard. The same way I came in. Oh, uh, y'all enjoy the contents. Thank you for all the love. Whoa. Hey, that ain't shake back. That nigga bang over there going crazy hearing me talking about BG a rat. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what Bang said? Now, you know, every nigga, I went to the Alabama room yesterday. Them <laughs> niggas went crazy on me. You told me that was in that time. Tell you, you too niggas. old to be acting like that and shit like Them that. Them niggas went crazy. Nigga, how are you rat? He did 12. I said, how you know he wasn't supposed to be doing 24? How are you rat? I said, I'm trying to tell you, nigga, rat. Never yeah. Mind. Nigga, rap, we got to work, my nigga. You no know, jumper pocket. I, just, I said, I'm just waiting on BG to deny it. He ain't gonna talk to you, bro. He, he, I don't know. I'm waiting there. for him to deny that shit. He, but by now, he'd have denied it. He ain't said shit. Hell no, he ain't said. I just like a bitch, you know, Brock. You know, you got a 10 year old kid live over there in Maine. Mm -hmm. You know the kid over there. You the one over there seeing the kid. You know it's yours. Blood tests, all that. And somebody going to tell you, yeah, nigga, keep talking. We're going to talk about that other that, 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 that other kid you got. <laughs> what Niggas you going to say to that nigga? Nigga, boy, boy, I'm not going to keep talking nothing. You telling me as long, long as I be quiet, it's cool? That nigga ain't playing with you, bro. I ain't heard no denials of it, bro. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, now, one thing a nigga know if I say I got some shit, I got some shit. Now, you seen I ain't deny you this time. I said, fuck it, bro. I, I just went right with it. I, I, I do because they eat me up in the com. Uh, uh, my partner said it to me because I guess the No Jumper clip came out when we was on stage talking about it and you kept saying my name. <laughs> so, so that motherfucker, the homie, the homie said, I heard you in this clip with Wack 100. I look at all the comments. They like, this nigga did 14 years and didn't talk. I don't know what the fuck they talking about. <laughs> Pump your brakes. Make sure y'all hit that thumbs up. That's the like button. 
Also hit that notification bell. That way you get notifications from me every time I drop this high-ish off the press. Now here we go. Oh, uh. yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I like y'all playing with this nigga, bro. If the nigga saying, it, I'm telling y'all, he just it's a phase thing with this nigga, bro. It's a phase thing. I'd have been through it. I'd have been through it a hundred seasons, bro. I said, I'm not gonna go play with this nigga, bro. Uh, he said, Yo, Brock, Pierre, man, I'm gonna give you an early Christmas gift. I said to work the 1090 Jake and told him to close it out. These told me he's seen it, so I know it's real. There you go, Brock. You got your work, man. There you go. So when they call it, you fucking with you. Just drop it. You can tell them, dog. You just, I'm just going to tell you to read it. Yeah, this, okay. Let them know. Hey, listen, nigga. Oh, he told. Shit. He told. Man, that's your man's. Give me a moment. That's your man's. The other nigga's still in there. These niggas be like, yo, that's the realest thing alive, nigga. Man, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit you talking about. On this day, he wasn't that real. How about that? Oh, this was down here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Damn, uh -oh. in H-Town? Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Damn, bro. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Title to title to title title to title 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 to hell. Nigga here. <laughs> Yo, is the app glitching for anybody else? This shit keep kicking me. Hell uh, yeah. Yep. Hey, I thought I was tripping, nigga. I really thought I was tripping for a what second. What the fuck? This shit glitching yeah, like a motherfucker. You just got kicked out four times in a row, like back to back to back. So just so y'all know, if that happens to y'all, just close the screen and uh, click back on the on the room, and you'll come back in. Nobody's kicking you out. Both passengers that were in the vehicle were put in front of the grand jury. Oh, you know I'm reading this, bitch. You know I'm going through this bit, right? <laughs> Dang. Uh huh. I ain't got to it. Hold on. Hey, he did some teas, Alan. Get to that point. I ain't surprised. Shit. I be, you know, what be crazy to me is why niggas be so strong on they didn't. To like, how you even know? Y'all don't know these niggas, man. <laughs> this shit be right. Crazy. Oh yeah, it's official. God damn. I mean, yeah, I don't see nothing. Uh, uh, he not really addressing this shit on his Instagram or nothing. But he talking about he gonna make the greatest comeback in hip hop history in 2024. Get the fuck out of here! Huh. I told y'all from Jump Street, niggas ain't really just trying to hear that, bro. And if he gonna lose the cash money, the nostalgia of being around that nigga, he lost everything. Cause that's the whole reason niggas was even trying to tune in, like trying to see what he's gonna do. Yeah. Son. But the nigga definitely in his motherfucker telly. Look at BG. All these years when it, he got away, and BG got away with murder. Can you imagine what would have happened if this paperwork hit while he was still behind the walls? Jeez! Oh, boy. He got, away with murder, he got away with murder. He got a chance to do his time. Get out. Get a bag. Get taken care of while he in there. And now that he out, it hit. You in Vegas, nigga. You need to. Do yeah, you got away with murder, nigga. Got away with murder, bro. Yeah, that shit crazy. I I be trying to tell That's these niggas, bro. Like a, I'm gonna back... tell you what happened. The nigga that he told on. I'm gonna tell you what happened. BG was promising this nigga shit, promising this nigga shit, and he didn't say nothing. BG didn't been out. And ain't did what he say he was gonna do for his family while he's still in there, and the nigga let the paperwork go. 
Now I'm gonna ask you this, my nigga. How many times you seen that happen, Wack? A gang of times. Thank bro. you. Thank you. I done seen like, that shit happen plenty of times. I said, bro, the nigga that had to work is a nigga that got told on. BG telling this nigga, you know this, where he fucked up at? The nigga said, whack. The nigga did an interview and said, I ain't cash money. I'm going to stay independent. Then how you going to do for me what you say you going to do for me based upon you saying you was going back to cash money? I seen Birdman supporting you. And then you supposed to did something for my people. You ain't did it yet. And now you saying that? Oh, nigga, you played me. Let me stop that now. You released the work. He's still in there. The nigga he told on still in there. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> so I'm a little sick. I sent this shit to Tid Daddy Jake. Yeah, man. Make sure this shit come out by Christmas. He over there working overtime on it. I know his ass is working overtime with that shit too, because he's probably surprised that you sent them some shit too. Like, what the I fuck going it. on? <laughs> yeah. That nigga said, I said, this is the exposers, nigga. So here, man, go ahead on. He said, whack, Mickey, you ain't lying. I heard you. You a smart nigga. Mickey wouldn't come at me because she'd be calling me for help the whole time behind your back. You try to get her to get in my lane, take me down. She calling me for the help. She didn't want to tell you. I said, I, he said, but I heard you say it. Something going on with you and this nigga 1090. Because for some reason, you don't want to speak. I'm giving you all the firepower to take the nigga down. He said, because I'm the one helping her. She didn't want to tell you. That's why she got off Clubhouse. You got too close. Real shit. Yeah, so. That was just That's up. fucking crazy. Oh, that shit gold, bro. It's this other nigga, this rapper nigga. Y'all know this nigga? L.A. nigga name. Um, what's this nigga name? Big Sad, 1900. Yeah, I heard it. Yeah, I heard of it. See him oh, going yeah, around. Big sad. Yo ass next on the chopping block. You going down. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. You going to walk the plank? That nigga up said he going down. You <laughs> going down. <laughs> I didn't even. Boy, you going down. You go down, goes and, crazy. And they say you don't fuck with West Coast niggas. Nah, nigga, you got a. Hey, they don't know that. Ain't I good. can understand everything that that came out your mouth, my nigga. Believe that. They don't know. Come they on, know. man. They don't know. We don't give a fuck. Nah, nigga, it's a different generation, man. When you do some foul shit, nigga, you get exposed. That's it. Oh, bottom fucking line, nigga. You can be my brother, nigga. If you do some foul shit, you're going to get exposed. Bottom line. That's the generation we come from. I don't know what the fuck That's happened it, after that. We don't give a fuck, boy. My baby dragon said, send some cash out so he eat good like he eat every day. Yeah. Send some cash out. What's your cash out? Dollar sign. I-A-M-S-U-P-A. K O O L. Don't y'all want to see his beard grow? Look how he looking around. Look. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I'm trying to get you some money. Where's Turd at the new one? Look how big his turd is, though, y'all. Come on now. Come on now. Show some love for the better dragon. He's trying to get a bigger uh, tank. <laughs> wow.